travel across America with me. Where are we headed? Key Largo? Key West? How far does the sign say? 20 miles to Key Largo, the top of the Keys, and Key West, the very bottom, 122 miles. Let's go. Be sure to watch my video about the southernmost point. The buoy, it's a tourist trap, a worthwhile one. Key West is lots of fun. Fresh coconut water, and I enjoyed this weather station. If the coconut, she is wet, it's rainy. If she's swaying, it's windy. If it's hot, it's sunny. If it's cool, it's overcast. If it's floating, it's high tide, and if it's gone, there's a hurricane. Cute. Key West is known as the Conch Republic. Well, what is a conch? Well, it's this shell thing that has this gooey thing in the, in the inside and people like to eat it. And since we were there at Key West and we were at the Two Friends Patio, I thought, I'll go ahead and try one. Two Friends Patio has been a Key West icon since 1886. I chose the Key West Sampler. Why? It had shrimp. Who can go wrong with shrimp? Some fried mahi-mahi. I love mahi-mahi. Don't let anybody tell you that it's dolphin. And of course, some conch fritters. It was really good. We asked our waiter, where's the best key lime pie? Because isn't that the title of this video? Why a key lime and not a seedless lime? I'll tell you that at the end of the video. Well, we had to walk off that big meal and we headed to the historic seaport, Harbor Walk. Wait till you see the video on this Harbor Walk. And it looks like there are seafood and oyster bars and a lobster house? There's so many choices for food in Key West. Key West, historic seaport, historic schooners, restaurants, shops, and water activities. I'll be posting another video specifically on what we saw in this historic district. Please do not forget to subscribe. And this pelican was one of those things we saw. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to send yourself a postcard. Greetings from Key West, Florida. We sent ourselves a postcard, of course. And now to Kermit's Key Lime Shop, the place that our server recommended. Fortunately, it was wasn't busy. Lots of awards, lots of pictures to look at. Now, a place to sit. Oh, let's go outside. They have a little patio. Ooh, there's the kitchen. Wouldn't you love to get in there? I would. Everything was sort of set up for to go. Uh, unfortunate. It wasn't the greatest looking presentation, but oh my. This key lime pie, it's so good. It was the best I've ever had. And I really do like key lime. I order it often. If you go to Key West, stop in at Kermit's and get a slice of pie. Be sure to watch my other videos. I have already posted several and there will be more to come. Like information on the end of US Highway 1. Mile marker zero. Listen, we were in Miami. We drove all the way to Key West. We did tons of stuff and made it back to Miami at the end of the day. We had to rush around, but we saw tons of stuff, including Stop 59, Truman's Little White House. And I'll be doing a video on that very soon. Truman went there 11 times. I don't blame him. I bet he had key lime pie. What do you think? Be sure to like and leave a comment below. Have you been to the Keys? What was your favorite thing to do in the Keys? You won't want to miss the other videos on sites in the Keys, like this one on the world's largest lobster. Now, back to Key Largo and stopping at the Blonde Giraffe, the Key Lime Pie Factory. Don't you just love that name, Blonde Giraffe? I wonder if she knows there's supposed to be an E on the end of blonde. She probably doesn't care. When we went by in the morning, it wasn't open, but thankfully we got there before closing. Now, there are lots of places and choices to get Key Lime Pie across the Keys. We chose to stop here and get one to go, and obviously the one down at Hermits. These are just suggestions, but the Blonde Giraffe place is the one with the lockets that I did the Valentine's video on. You'll want to go watch the Valentine's video on these precious locks at the Blonde Giraffe. There's key lime everything, of course. Now, a little bit about key limes and key lime pie. You know I have to include a history lesson here. Before the railroad opened in 1912, now that's the Flagler Railroad, he was into everything in Florida. And wait till you see the railroad information that I'm going to be presenting from the Keys. Simply amazing. Of course, everything in our country is amazing if you just look back and appreciate it. Back to this. Before the railroad opened in 1912, Fresh milk was scarce in the Florida Keys. Gail Borden's canned sweetened condensed milk, invented in 1859, became the staple dairy product. The story goes that a sponge fisherman set off to work with a supply of limes to prevent scurvy. 
some cans of milk, soda crackers, and eggs. Did you ever know that there was a sponge fisherman? I didn't until I read this sign. In the galley, he invented a food that needed neither cooking nor refrigeration. The acidity in the limes simply curdled the eggs and milk. Key lime pie and a sponger's delight became famous as the dessert appeared at Curry's prestigious dinner parties and became a smash. Graham crackers, a health food, eventually replaced soda crackers. Egg whites left over from the pie making were whipped into a stiff meringue and spread on top. Over time, the meringue was replaced with whipped cream. The traditional conch version uses the egg whites to make a meringue topping. The term conch refers to the native residents of the Florida Keys. I think I already told you that, didn't I? Many years ago, the small yellow lime was so successfully cultivated in the Florida Keys, it became widely known as the Key Lime. In 1906, due to hurricane-depleted soils, locals from the Keys switched from pineapple commercial crops to key lime crops. Business boomed until once again a hurricane reared and wiped out the lime groves, never to be restored. Oh, though still widely available, key limes are not as abundant in the Florida Keys as they once were. Since the North American Free Trade Agreement came into effect, many key limes on the U.S. market are grown in Mexico. On the Florida Keys, the trees produce some fruits more or less the year round. The key lime tree is exceedingly vigorous may be shrubby or range from six and a half to 13 feet high. Wow. Some fruit mature on the tree year round. Seedling and air layer propagated trees are well suited to the rocky calcareous soils of the Florida Keys. Key lime juice has no cholesterol and is a source of vitamin A and C. Key lime is used fresh in limeade, mixed drinks, pies, and iced tea, and is squeezed onto seafood or other foods, for example, papaya and avocado to bring out the flavor. I love them. I have a whole bag full in my refrigerator all the time. And I'll tell you now why. Key limes instead of regular limes. Well, you can get regular limes, but make sure they have seeds. Key limes always have seeds. And if a fruit doesn't have a seed, you know what that means, right? I don't need to tell you. Considerably smaller than the familiar green Persian limes, they are usually about the size of a walnut and have a smooth and thin chartreuse yellow skin. The flesh, too, is pale, greenish yellow, and very acidic, making it an ideal ingredient for cooking. The thorny key lime tree only grows in tropical or subtropical climates, as it is highly sensitive to cold. So am I. Key limes are rarely found outside the regions in which they grow. Uh, okay, I admit it, they're a lot more sensitive than I am. The cold's not so bad. All I care about is that they made it to where we can get them. The Key Lime Pie Factory, a must stop when heading to the Keys. Have you watched the video on the African Queen? It's really, really good. You won't want to miss the videos on other sites on the Keys and those that I will be posting soon. Now, so many of the houses there are painted in these pastels and this pink pastel house had this sign that of course, I love it. You are now entering a flip-flop zone. Of course you are, you're in the Florida Keys. Flip-flops on the ground. Unclassic road trip. Please subscribe. Thank you.